I have no problem taking the vaccine. I look forward to taking this vaccine. I'm confident in its safety and of its efficacy. As Governor Gavin Newsom expresses confidence in a vaccine, a growing number of Californians are expressing a lack of confidence in his leadership. There is a campaign growing right now to recall Newsom. And while it started out small, it seems to be gaining momentum. News 8's Richard Allen has the very latest. Well, that's right. Five other recall petitions against Governor Newsom have already failed to qualify for the ballot, but organizers say this time will be different. I think we're on the verge of history here. Randy Economy is senior advisor to the current movement to recall Governor Gavin Newsom, which at this point has collected some 828,000 signatures. To qualify for the ballot, just under one and a half million million signatures gathered by March 17th would have to be verified. Economy believes that is within reach. It's kind of the perfect storm in regards to uh, why this man should be removed from office. Economy points to growing aggravation statewide with the latest lockdown, as well as Newsom's well-publicized outing at the upscale French Laundry restaurant. It's about the people who are just fed up with government. They're fed up of being told what to do. They're fed up of watching these people work behind their backs and, and you know they, they talk out of their mouths on one side and they do something on the other. News 8 political analyst Laura Fink says sustained anti-Newsom sentiment would be critical to the recall movement gathering enough verified voter signatures. Some voters may see the current rollout of the vaccine as a sign that the tide is turning. If the momentum shifts and we see the recovery from the pandemic both economically and from a health perspective, that could really stymie the hopes of those hardcore recall supporters. Aside from momentum, the other critical factor is money, Fink said, adding that in recall efforts like this, Californians follow the money. They're going to know who funded it, and they may that may sour them on the recall if it doesn't look like an organic effort. Economy says that so far, their movement has raised some $650,000 and that they're not supporting any particular party or candidates. We don't look at this as a Republican versus Democrat uh, situation. We look at this as, as people who are, are hurting. And another critical issue, especially for taxpayers, is the projected cost of a special election, estimated by the governor's office to be $81 million. We asked News 8 viewers what they think of the recall, and here were some responses. Sandra is in favor. She thinks Newsom is being hypocritical and hurting small businesses. Others, like Carlos, think a recall is a waste of time. Leslie said in part, quote, he started out doing quite well with COVID response and then had missteps. Not enough for a recall, but he needs to improve. Doug said, tell the governor to stop his gatherings and parties and close his winery. There's no science to his closures. Well, Barbara said, quote, I'm thankful for his enduring leadership during incredibly difficult times. If you would like to weigh in, go to our News 8 Facebook page.